In this documentary, we look at some of the young creators of tomorrow who are all aged 25 or under and who are shaping the events culture of the capital. If there's anywhere with opportunities for young people in the creative arts, it will be in a big city like London. Despite all the changes that the city's going through constantly, there's always things for us to do and there's always spaces for us to create. Youth culture has always been at the forefront of change throughout the ages and you can look at London in any era and you'll see that there's so much going on amongst the youth. Here we are in London looking at some of the most exciting parties taking place. I have this, this saying where it's my mantra, it's DIY or DIE, so it's like, you've got to do it yourself, if you don't, it's just going to die. Dezo, what are you saying? How is this one? The show is banging, you get me? Everyone show mad love, and mad energy. The kind of music and artists that I promote, they do like UK hip hop, um, alternative hip hop. I'm just nurturing the new artists that are coming through. I'm Malachi, I'm co-executive director of the SNK Project. I'm David and I'm an outreach coordinator for SNK Project. So our primary aim is to make the arts for everyone. So we set up in 2014 and that was like the first show that we wrote, directed, casted, produced. Outside of theatre we also produce an annual festival called SK Fest and we also do lots of outreach and participation work as well. I think what's special about London theatre is it's not afraid to be boundary pushing. People are doing exciting things all of the time and won't let any restrictions stop them. In London, obviously, of course, there's just a lot of opportunity. So for us, it's just about understanding who we are and what we want to say. And that is about making the arts way more accessible than it is right now. It's just going to be me and Gangs in the studio today. Uh, we are Unity. Unity is a London-based platform for women and LGBTQ plus people to express themselves. It's just the two of us. We don't have financial backing where the young people trying to like first and foremost survive <laughs> in the city. I think because there's such a range of events here and such a quality of events, what you produce or what you put out to people in the community is really important and like the quality of your work and the time that you have to spend is like pretty intense, like it's a, it's a full-time job really, but it's really a labour of passion. And there's so many people doing amazing things, it's not really pressure, it's kind of a joy to be a part of something so interesting and demanding. Clubbing and subcultures, like dance subcultures, were always spaces created by marginalised people for marginalised people. And we wanted to kind of duplicate that sense of belonging and inclusion. Before we start, we just need to give a big thank you to Kaya Milan and Off Balance Group, right? Because if it wasn't for them, none of us would be here right now, you feel me? When I do my events, I want women to feel like they're part of a club. When I was started in the music industry, I didn't feel connected to very many women. And I really wanted women to feel just that sense of sisterhood. I thought it was really important. We have crazy diverse lineups all the time. You can have a whole lineup full of women and you don't really notice the difference. It's just a person performing, you know? I think we put a lot of like emphasis on gender and you see all these festivals during the summer and their whole lineups are completely saturated with men and I'm just like, this whole kind of gender imbalance is really unnecessary. It doesn't matter whether it's a male or whether it's a female artist performing. It's just a good artist giving you a good show. And that's why I decided to put on Goddess Fest, which is an all-female music festival. I was really happy to see that it wasn't just women that attended, it was like equally 50% men and 50% women. I think we just need to showcase talent that deserves to be showcased. For someone my age, working in the music industry with big dreams, trying to be a DJ, I think London is the best place to be. When we started Femme Culture, we, it was an idea. Within a month, we were playing out, doing gigs. We are giving spotlight to whoever needs to be in the spotlight. We want to ultimately listen to great music without the hassle of having to explain why you're putting out great music, given the fact that you're a female. What makes London so special is that it has a very strong history of art, culture, music. It also has this presence to keep it relevant to 2018, to now. 
I'm Ryan Riley, I'm a food writer and stylist and the founder of Cancer Cookery Initiative Life Kitchen. So when people are living with cancer, um, chemotherapy or radiotherapy, all the cancer treatments overall can affect how people taste food and that can be a very depressing time. So we put Life Kitchen on to specially develop the recipes to deliver a beautiful cooking class that people can get the most out of their food. Being young and creative in London is a very exciting thing. I personally started in street food, ended up in fashion and then into food. I mean, you can really go through a lot of different industries before you find where you really want to settle. And in that, you find a lot of people want to help you along the way. We've become a very foodie nation and London is just so diverse and so full of people from all walks of life that having an event in London has been an eye-opener to different worlds and different classes and different ideas. And it just sort of all makes it a bit more culturally rich. So Room for Rebellion started as a, a sister group to London Irish Abortion Rights Campaign. The people that attend our parties, you know, it's, it's incredibly varied, it's incredibly diverse. I think our generation definitely um, is more involved with conscious clubbing. There's definitely more events that really have like a meaning to it. It's hedonism with a heart. If you can go out for a night and dance into the early hours with your friends and then actually know that you're helping someone else somewhere, sounds pretty good to me. As long as promoters use their initiative, stay creative, you know, book local amazing talent, the scene is going to continue to flourish and be one of the best in the world. When people say that younger generations don't understand the sense of family and unity and acting as a whole and as a collective, it doesn't apply in all instances because in London it's very much there and it's very much strong. The world is only going to get way, way more complex the next gen, they need to be creative because the world that they're going to buck is going to be crazy, <laughs> crazy. So yeah, you just make or break, you know what I mean? And that's it. Uh, we choose to make um, regardless. Right now when I go out, it's just great to see spaces being created for people, whether it means just for them to go out and lose themselves on the dance floor, or whether it's to try and create a community around a certain cause or a certain interest, whether that's raising awareness about an issue, raising money. So there's all these things that we're able to draw attention to and to focus on, and that will always happen in London. And I'm just excited about where that's going to go.